Oh, hear that sizzle. What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. I'm gonna give you three tips, actually four. There's a bonus one, Pinky. There's a bonus tip in there of how to cook with nonstick cookware. Usually my nonstick cookware of choice is the OXO Good Grips. I think they make a better, you know, PFOA, whatever free, blah, 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 PBA, whatever the initials are. I tend to like their products better. This happens to be the 12 inch size and I've got four, basically, I think these are short ribs in here that I'm gonna turn into like Korean barbecue. You kind of get the idea. First tip, number one is when you turn your pan on, like when you turn the heat on on the flame, I try to stay below medium. So usually between medium and low, like that's low, this is medium. I try to stay like split the medium and low in half and then just go er, like one notch above that, but never on high. The reason for that is because when you when you cook or you heat non-sticks cookware, what happens is, is if you go above a certain temperature, you're releasing that non-stick cookware chemicals and all that other stuff into your food. So as long as you stay below a certain temperature, you're okay. I would never cook on high with non-stick cookware. Second trick, I always use the biggest burner I have, right? That's the small one, this is the big one, that's the medium one, but I try to use the biggest burner so that it more evenly distributes the heat. Very, very important. Okay, third tip. Whenever you cook with non-stick cookware like this, especially like a non-stick pan, very important, once you turn your flame on, Within 30 seconds or so, you should be putting some food in there. The pan will not be warm or hot, but the reason for that is that you don't, you never want to leave this thing on heat empty because, again, you're just releasing more of that non stick chemicals that make it non stick into your food. So just turn the heat on, get the pan on, get some food in there. It's non stick, so nothing's going to stick anyway, theoretically. Okay, fourth tip. Whenever you cook with nonstick, I don't care what anybody says, you still need to use oil or butter or something. You need to put some kind of fat in there to keep a barrier between your food and whatever it is that you're cooking. So in this case, I'm doing short ribs, right? Korean barbecue style. Fifth tip I'll tell you is whenever you're ready to turn your food or whatever, use non or use a silicone tongs. These are also made by Oxo Grid Grip. I will put links to all this stuff down below in the description. But I believe I'm about right there. And look at how beautiful my short ribs are getting. Nice browning, nice charring. That is flavor. That is caramelization right there. Look at this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It might look black on camera, but in person, this is a luxurious brownish color all over and I'm loving every second of this. Okay, sixth, right, plus one, sixth tip, bonus tip. Always have a hood fan going whenever you're cooking, just regardless, but especially with non-stick cookware. The reason why is you're trying to get those fumes up and out of your living space, environment, kitchen, whatever. This one happens to be a house lane. This is the VM730 model, I believe. It's as close to professional or commercial grade as you can get with a residential, you know, home use setting. I love this thing. I've had it for a while now. It's absolutely amazing. I will put a link to this and also the OXO Good Grips. This is the 12-inch skillet. I'll put a link to that down below as well as the 10-inch skillet. I think they're on the same landing page, so I'll put links to those down below. I'll also put a link to the silicone tongs. Very important to get good quality silicone, high grade, good quality silicone. That's why I like the OXO Good Grips line. These are amazing. I think these are like the 10 inch, nine and a half, 10 inch tongs or whatever the case may be, but they are stainless and they're also made by the OXO Good Grips company. Anyways, hope you like what you're seeing. Hope these tips and tricks help you out there. Like I said, I really don't cook a lot with nonstick cookware, but when I do, I usually, but when I do, I like OXO. So there you go. Anyways, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, links to the tongs, the skillet, and the house lane hood. If you're looking at installing a new vent hood in your house, put all those links down below in the description.